Are you guys ready to learn what the 5 strongest transcended ultra rares are in Dokkan battle? Well in this video I'm going to rank the 5 best TURs in the game based on their capabilities, kits, and their best team. But before we do that, I just want to thank you guys for all the support recently and for 300 subs. This list is going to be for global because most people play on global and the only difference would be SSJ3 Goku would be somewhere at the top of the list. Well, by the way, I have finally made a discord channel so the link for that will be in the description. Now, without further ado, let's get straight into the list. At number 5 we've got a shared spot between the gammas because there's no gamma 1 without gamma 2 and vice versa. So 5 goes to them because they have a, had a very long stretch of dominance and when working together they are very strong with all their links active. Their teams are pretty strong with some pretty valid units on the team on top of their already powerful kits. The gammas are starting to see some age but they are nowhere near struggling yet. They are a solid defensive unit because they both have nullification in their kits and other ways to build defense. And if we really receive a beast gohan this anniversary their team could once again rise to the top especially with orange piccolo so i'm investing in their future therefore the gammas are number five for their amazing kits and solid team potential also on a side note it's very hard to do this but limit breaker vegeto nearly made the top five for me i almost had him at five but dragon ball hero still annoys me because no matter how good they are the unit is limited to a dragon ball heroes team which means there's no other team for that card to fully profit on and he won't be coming back for an entire year meaning you can't hunt for him or his team during the year and while all the other cards in the game are developing and getting new abilities him and his team are collecting dust in your box waiting for the next set of cards that are either insane or just created poorly ssj4 limit breaker is still an honorable mention if you have his team because he has an amazing kit anyways let's move on to number four and in my humble opinion this goes to path to power kid goku he's a very lovable card he orb changes he has support and he also has great defense with built-in additionals and damage reduction path to power kid goku fits on earthbred fighters and a few other teams including bulma which can result in some absolutely insane support combined with great survivability and damage he's a great card and i will never be sad to see him in a summon next we have number three we've got an insane pick physical godku the real ultra instinct goku that we never got he has built-in dodge orb changing and guard and the only thing it all costs is giving him six orbs he's also got a great active skill that you can use to finish off fights you never really want to transform him to ssj unless you know the fight is almost over and you are guaranteed to win off of the free attack he does his god form is way better than his transformation for some reason but that's no problem because he's an amazing card that fits on most of the top teams in the game he's also got amazing offense with built-in additionals that help him stack his stats and get a huge jump after a certain amount of attacks godku can be underrated sometimes but his abilities should not be questioned as he is one of the best cards in the game and never a bad pickup whether you are a new player or an old player second place goes to the very debatable piccolo jr now before you get angry please understand that this was almost a tie between him and 23rd world tournament goku he was actually in the lead but i have bias and i will explain more in depth when we get to number one piccolo is pretty much the best tr in the game on paper with a kit so strong he can tank merge them off with very little buildup. he has insane damage and builds up off of guaranteed supers that are built into his kit and since he is int type you can also give him more dodge if necessary and i nearly forgot about how good his giant form is basically free damage and you're invincible for up to three or more turns he literally saved my ass in the merge them off race video that is about to go up or is already up on dokkan Zay's channel the link will be in the description by the way if you want to check that out number two is in world tournament piccolo because of his overwhelmingly strong kit that will keep him meta on the earthbred fighters team for a long time basically the only reason he is number two is because he is an extreme type and can't use his big bad bosses link on most of these earthbred fighters teams but the fact that he is so dominant without it still speaks volumes about his goatness number one it's obviously 23rd world tournament goku the goat leader with one of the strongest kits i have ever seen in dokkan the ability to build up to 1 million defense and nullify key blast supers while also having built in additionals and his attacks being effective against all types is absolutely busted he also has guard in his kit and guaranteed guard on turn one goku is such a monster that he's literally my favorite card and i can even put him over some of the best lrs in the game he also is the leader of the best category in the game it's absolutely mind-boggling that world tournament goku and piccolo are still this good almost a year after their release number one is very debatable between these two goats i just prefer goku because he has almost never failed me in anything so it's just my personal experience with the two of them that is putting him above piccolo now guys that's it for this video i hope you all enjoyed and i hope i've convinced some of you to stick around and subscribe to the channel we are heading towards 400 subs now and i'm super grateful for every single one of you who supports me thank you all for watching and giving me the inspiration to keep grinding